I think utility usage is very important, but I think that um, your aim is is equally as important, and your utility is not gonna it's it's not gonna matter, right? You don't have any util left, even if you did, you have to get the kills. So this is kind of yeah. what I mean, where like your aim is really important. I think you focus a lot on utility. I would highly recommend overall just kind of working more on just like holding angles and taking gunfights. I know you're not a duelist, right? But it, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. After you ult and you hit someone, I would be kind of like jiggling, seeing like, where's my opportunity, right? Because whenever you ult and you hit someone, their attention yeah. is going to shift to Everybody shooting. Everybody is shooting it. Yeah. So you get like, there's like a split second or like a couple seconds where you can, you have an opportunity to kill someone up here a lot as well. Oh, wow. You have her. Yeah, that's nice. If you told your team you were going to do that, you guys would have had like, that would have been even smoother. Just communicating in general is something that a lot of people are not super uh, great at. Even in Immortal, like there's a lot of players that just will not communicate. Hey guys, Ducky is back and I'm going to be doing some coaching. If you guys are interested in getting coaching yourselves, please reach out to me on Discord. The link to my Discord account is in the description below. Just add me, DM me, and I'll reach out to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching the video and enjoy. I'm sure that it's my aim, my worst problem, because it's... I have a great aim, but it's never consistent. Yeah. Not only... It's not because of the movement. My movement is great. I can usually not associate the game with the movement because I'm playing automatic. Okay. So I see that you're buying um, light armor and full utility, which I think is fine as a deadlock player. Depends how you want to play. So it looks like we're moving toward A. Is this... This is an immortal game you just played? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we're pinging. Okay, we're pre aiming the silver dart. That's good. Okay, so we're kind of droning out alone, which is not ideal, but that's fine. Okay, I like this. Okay, grab. Can try to grab the sheriff there. They were now calling to go back to the other side and asking me to go back for the heels. Mm -hmm. Careful corners here. I know, I know that we um, we rotate across the map, but always clear corners. Yeah, it looks like Killjoy was. Oh, she was on site. Okay, um, you can go ahead and pause. Overall, I think this is a pretty average round. Um, a couple things I'm noticing, one is not your fault, and one is something that is more, I think you can kind of improve. The first thing is our Sova's droning, and he's kind of droning nothing. So something I would say is like, hey Sova, um, can you drone and then we'll walk up with it? Because he just droned out, and basically a Sova drone with no one behind is kind of, not useless, but it's like not super useful, if that makes sense. I know. And the other thing that I think is more fundamental to you here is that I'm noticing no uses of your comms. Is, uh, do, you, do you usually calm or not calm? No, usually I don't because, um, well, first of all, I'm autistic. So my biggest problem is whenever I'm talking, I lose some of my abilities. Like I can't move the mouse, all right? I can okay. move in game. Like I have to completely stop and then try to speak. And I gotta have my mind completely ready to be talking. Okay. And yeah. giving out call outs. And so, I was not ready today, so I was just pinging. And some sometimes I was typing. So it sounds like whenever you talk, it's kind of difficult to, to play uh, to the fullest potential. Yeah. Um, so this is fine. Something I'll ask is, do you think you might be able to communicate before the round starts? Probably. Usually when I wanted to communicate, I was just like typing. Yeah, that, that's completely fine if you want to do that. Um, I I would recommend um, trying voice chat because it's just more it's just more effective. I understand it might be a little challenging. Just communicating in general is something that a lot of people are not super uh, great at. Even in Immortal, like there's a lot of players that just will not communicate. The Omen was with the spike on A and I said, well, let's do a fake. He tries to plant A. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, this is great, right? Like, you guys are, you guys ha really have no no weapons here. You might buy a little util, not much. Um, 
And then you just want to get the, the money from the plant. So this is great. I think we could probably save... Yeah. Oh, I think we can't. We could probably just save our ability there. One mid. He's pr they're probably going to be fighting you here. If you have a chance. Yeah, get the plant. Uh, Omen had just planted and I heard they were taking mid. Yeah, so the plan is... um. The plan, this, is, this round's perfect. You guys did a great job. This is all you really needed. Yeah, so I think like this is a good example of where we could try mid. The jet could be up in cat though, so we have to be careful. Yeah, but I think ro I think full rotating to B is kind of maybe a little obvious since we already did it, and they are opping. We're cutting noise. Something you really could do. That what maybe we can get the kill on the holder of B. Yeah. Then we can rotate again. Okay, that's fine. Um, the people on your team might not be thinking the same thing. This is where like somehow communicating that would be useful um we could also re-hit a we could make some noise b and then re-hit a kind of like you're saying but again our team is sort of split looks like we might a split b could be good okay this is fine Okay. Um, overall, our team's kind of slow. I know you're a sentinel, and it's kind of hard, like, whenever your team's not just taking space, but that is what They I'm... said the same thing here. They just said, oh, we're taking too much to play. Yeah. Too much time. Yeah, too much time. Um, so, in this case, like, we know Jet's opping. I think you can... I mean, you have a Jet, right? You have a Jet that can dash out. If you hit Tab... Something you can do in these situations is hit tab to see uh, what your, uh, how close your sky is to, to her ult. And then, or even to your ult, you could grab orb here. Um, if you get sky ult, it makes entering a lot easier. And there's a lot less like pressure on you guys. And there's more pressure on the shooting sky's ult. But we have, we have sky dog and silva drone. This should be, this shouldn't be as hard as it's uh, been for us to kind of take a little more space. So, yeah, I was just thinking about that silver drone. I was like, I can throw the grenade. Probably Jet is going to be out in the open again. Yeah. Someone trying to fight alongside her. Yeah. And if yeah. I manage to get her stuck, she won't have the dash. Yeah. She'll okay. still be stuck in the same place. Yeah, that's that's so, actually really good. This is really good. So I bought a sheriff to try and make the quick pixel and the lineup, then jump on the motorcycle and try to get a kill. Okay, I... um. This is also something you could say to your team since it's pre-round. You like to jump up on the up here a lot as well. Oh wow, you have her. Yeah, that's nice. If you told your team you were gonna do that, you guys would have had like that would have been even smoother, in my opinion. Yeah. That that was really that was a really good. And that and that hurts me, honestly. Yeah, that was a, that was a really good um, idea though, a really good strategy from you. Nice job. We can just leave, rotate through mid, go cat. That's my idea here. <clears throat> and we can be looking to ult. I would have checked to see if Jet has enough money for another op. Okay, alert up mid. Or are you just gonna throw that? That's fine. I don't know if we need to throw that there, to be honest. I think it could be good if you're catching someone in market, but it's only gonna, it's not really gonna make a crazy difference. I think it'd be better right here if you place it right there. On that door. Um, yeah, does that make sense? It makes sense. What I was trying to do with the wall was that I was trying to get some info out of it to see somebody breaks Which or did. just make yeah. them strictly have to go towards their spawn to rotate so the rotates mm -hmm. are slower. And if we had to re hit bay, like I'm giving my team the alternatives. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think uh, the idea to get them to shoot it is good. I didn't think about that. Um, getting them to rotate slower, more, more than likely you're only going to get one person. Like, if there's one person in market, they're going to have to rotate around. But that's only going to really shave off, like, five seconds. And 
I mean, I don't know if that would make a huge difference. So I like the idea behind it, but I think it probably would have been a little better here in this uh, uh, area. I feel like we could just try to hit something hard. Like, I feel like we haven't really tried to split A um, or just rush out A. I think going B might we be hard. We are all afraid of mid, to mid. be honest. Yeah, that's pretty common. People, A lot of people just kind of avoid mid. And this is kind of where you can nudge your team like, hey, can we try mid? Or let's let's just work toward mid a little bit. I like that you're typing at least. That's good. We still we do have ult here. Wait, did it? Did our team you buy? You got to kill on the op. Yeah, that's that's very good. Try to get a gun here. And get the op. Or your jet can take. I the lost op. track of where my team was going here, so I just opened by myself. Yeah. But yeah, that's okay. It would have been very nice if someone was right behind us there. Because you're going to... You can pause real quick. So, this round should be very winnable because we killed the op straight away. Um, in my opinion, I think it's important to kind of go for the op. So, um, I know it's hard for you to communicate during the round. But we really want to work toward that op. Because more than likely, there's going to be someone defending it. So if we can get that person, which was the raise, you had a very good ability use on, on her. Um, I should have waited also because when somebody takes the grenade out of... Uh, how do you call it? They press F to remove something from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I forgot the name of it in English. But, but when you take it out, you activate the alarm. So I threw the, I threw the stun alarm upon her and I didn't wait until it popped. Does if that I waited I, I could have gotten all the op or the vandal. Does that make a noise whenever they take it out? Yeah. And okay. I I tested it already. That's how I clear some corners sometimes. I just throw a sensor they think oh I should just not move. And I throw the grenade they try to rip it off. Oh rip off. They try to rip it off and it activates. Yeah that could be that could be really um that you could have got her there if you had kinda of waited for that. No, I did not have patience. So now we've had ult for a few rounds. Generally, I'm not as picky, like, because I, I coach people who are on Reyna. But your ult's actually a bit more valuable than a Reyna ult. So I think, you know, just trying to be aware that we need to use it rather than hold it for too long. This is a very common thing that people do is kind of hold ults. So I'm looking for you to use your ult here. And just going forward, try to remember to use your ult. Usually, I use my ult whenever I have it. But at this particular time, I was feeling like, oh, I'm not nerdy enough today. I forget a line of... Yeah, I noticed and also... It's easy to miss the ult. Yeah, it is very easy. But that's okay if you do, because you start recharging another one. I'm also noticing that we're playing on the opposite side of our team, from our team again. Which can work, but... Yeah, that was the color. But I... Uh... I promise you, sometimes I, I'm playing so automatic that when I open, I open while blinking. You mean uh, you swing or you peek? Yeah, I, I swing with my eyes closed because yeah. I blink at the time. Oh, okay, I understand. I hear, I, I clearly wasn't You didn't have your eyes her. open, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, think, I think lurking is fine. Like, I think this is fine, but also like... Just kind of be aware of like how your team is playing, and in this game, our idea uh, was that I would make noise and they keep silent. But then, yeah, I forgot. They somebody made some noise. I think it was a drone, and they said, "Oh, screw it, let's just run." Yeah, that's the problem here. Like, like unless your team's really on the same page with you, so. I I don't know. I think it depends on the team. So you might want to play a little closer with your team in this game or just kind of in general. But it's okay It's okay to lurk as a sentinel sometimes. But deadlock has some utility. Like if your team's pushing, you're going to want to be with your team. To and use I really it. like to play deadlock as an initiator sometimes. What do you say? I, I really like to play deadlock as an initiator sometimes. Yeah, I mean, you can because, I mean, you have ult. You can use your. You could just throw your th um... yeah, and we get, and we yeah. When we get the space, uh, we can use the stuns like it's normal stun, because they got a swing on us. <coughs> Excuse me. And for um... me, the difference on that lock is that I have the grenade to stop a push, 
one sensor, another sensor, a wall, and an ultimate. Five things that can stop a push. Yeah, I mean, I agree. You can play. You can play her as an initiator if you if you use her utility correctly. Here, it just feels like we're. It feels like we're sort of on autopilot a little bit. Um, kind At of this time, their call out was that Silva was going to be drowning to lure them into going eight because Silva never lurks. Mm -hmm. While we were trying to walk towards B because it's in um, to half by. Yeah, this is fine. I think we can. I think we can jiggle that before we kind of peek like that. Also, clear the corner. Corner clearing. Definitely something that will get you killed there. I'm clear playing on automatic right now. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it happens. People like people do all the time. There's something to kind of be aware of. So here we have ult. This would not be a bad time to ult. I know we're on eco, but at this point, if we don't use our ult soon, okay, good. We got, we got someone. I think we could play a little aggressive with it, but it's okay. It's okay. It's hard to. I think we should be... Can you rewind a little bit, like 10 seconds? Okay. I think here, like, 10 more seconds, actually. I think with our ult, like, we should be playing a little more aggressive. Like, we're very good with our abilities. But after, like, right here, after you ult and you hit someone, I would be kind of, like, jiggling, seeing, like, where's my opportunity, right? Because whenever you ult and you hit someone, their attention yeah, is going to shift to everybody shooting. Everybody is shooting it. Yeah, so you get, like, there's, like, a split second or, like, a couple seconds where you can... You have an opportunity to kill someone, but instead we kind of ult and then come back, which I think is kind of bad. And I um, should have ulted from the other side. I should have aimed it at the stairs here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like yeah, this, that's true. That that would have been because good if you hit the the guy would have come into the cover, and also if he stepped on the sensor, we would have gotten the kill easier. But what happened to my mind was that. Before I showed you, I should have used my lineup so that I can still use my ultimate, try to get somebody that's shooting at it, and after that, somebody gets um, crouched as well. Yeah, also here, I like. I think we could be looking... Yeah, I think I just think we could be playing up lane a little more. I wasn't... I was looking at nowhere. Like, up on my sensor, right on the omen one way. Where three people were already looking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a hard fight to win against the Sova anyway, but... I could have been jiggling it. Yeah, yeah, I would have been jiggling or just holding up a little farther. Looks like we're going to win this, though. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so we ulted, so there's a chance we can get another ult here before the half ends. I got three assists. One from the sensor, one from the ultimate, and one from the grenade. Yeah, you did. You did good. That 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 ult was actually really nice. I I don't really like play deadlock, so that was an impressive um, ult there. I was expecting more for Silva to be able to uh, get a kill on the ultimate, but I completely forgot that he was behind his smoke. Okay, so you're gonna put your wall in mid. Okay, and then we're coming B since we see them already. There's a good chance yeah. they're just gonna come B. Here, I should have already thrown my grenade. Mm -hmm. But I was afraid that if it hit on an enemy, it would bounce off and hit Jet and Sky. Oh, okay. I think, actually, I think it's fine to wait here. We can just kind of, like, play stairs and jiggle. And then whenever they're starting to come out, you can throw it. Yeah, I was like, when Jet tries to do the updraft, I'm going to throw the grenade. And yeah. they will not be able to go with the Jet. If you throw but it, I, if you throw uh, it now... Okay, yeah, yeah, I this, that's perfect. Here. That was perfect, but you threw it a little bit deep. And Jet kind of went quick there. That wasn't bad, though. Okay, good try. I think it's fine. The trouble is that Jet dashed on side, and Jet and Sky from my team instantly looked back. Yeah, they um she went really fast there. 
She got to you. If quickly. I had Carlos, I would have told him that I would be trying to throw the grenade and they could rely on me. Yeah, that's that's a very good example of where comms can be. I mean, it's really hard to go wrong with comms, even though it sounds like it'll be a little difficult for you. I think it's definitely something to work on. Here, I would not use, I would not use both sensors. I would probably not even use one because I want them for next round, right? I was playing, I was planning to play Guardian already because of the spam position and the discipline it gives me when the enemy is crouched. I use the Guardian way more than the Velo on defense. Okay, so you're gonna buy more Util then? That's what you mean? That's very good. That's unfortunate. Okay, this is a yeah, this is a good grenade. Oh, that's not good. It gets worse, don't worry. We could grenade here. That that's not good. Right, good job. Yeah, okay. All this time I was just thinking I can throw the grenade, I can throw the grenade, but I have to see it. Yeah, I think I think you focus a lot on utility. I would highly recommend overall just kind of working more on just like holding angles and taking gunfights. I know you're not a duelist, right? But it, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. What, and I when's... am afraid to take gunfights. Really yeah, do am. you do you can you pause real quick, we can talk about this. Um, do you play deathmatch or warm up in any way? I do play I used to play when I was trying to get better aim, I was doing 10, 10 team deathmatch a day, but they would be split like three, then a mm -hmm. pause, and three, then a pause. I did aim laps a lot, and really did uh, the range. I got used to it, but whenever I'm playing it, or when I'm stressed, or when I'm tired, mm -hmm. and I was kind of stressed before, because I, I wasn't home, there was a power outage, yeah. I was kind of bugging my mod out, and I didn't warm up before I played. I just wanted to get the VOD. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. I'm just asking in general. Um, do you usually warm up, like whenever you play? I usually warm up, at least ten minutes. Okay. It, okay. I so don't I... want to warm up a lot because yeah. it kind of makes me all focused on the aim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and fine. That's bad for me because I think my utility usage is better. I think utility usage is very important, but I think that. Um, your aim is is equally as important. So I think 10 minutes is fine, like however you want to do that. But also, whenever you warm up, make sure that... I'm too afraid of taking gunfights. That's why I... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Your... Like, whenever you play... Whenever you play Deathmatch, are you scared of taking fights? I'm scared to take fights even in Deathmatch. Okay, that's interesting. Because usually people are not scared in Deathmatch, and then they're scared... No, I am. I play Deathmatch the same way I play Calm. Okay, so maybe maybe that's something you can kind of work on is whenever you're in deathmatch, try to kind of draw, like, I don't know how to say this, but like, not be as scared to take fights. And that might take a little practice, but just kind of realize that there's really nothing on the line for the deathmatch. It's okay if you die. I die a lot in deathmatch. Um, but then you can try to hopefully carry that over a little bit in comp, because although you're not a, a duelist, there are situations where you need to take fights, right? Like there are situations like when you're retaking, you need to take fights. So I would highly recommend that. I think that's gonna be important for your for your next steps. Okay. Can I do the whole round or time? What do you say? Should I like skip the round or just play? Um whichever if there's like a specific round you want to go to or something, we can do that. We have about no, 10 just minutes. on the retake, I got the sensor for a mid back again. Because okay. I think it's not worth it to leave it there, as yeah, they can good. just walk up on it. I, th I, th yeah, I think it's Sometimes fine. Sometimes I try to censor here, because if they try to push the one that broke the wall, they get stunned. I think a censor. Like if somebody's at the button, I show the. Like right, right here. If somebody was here, at the uh, at the button, I show the grenade and I have this alarm here. If they try to rip it off, they're gonna get stunned and I'm gonna get the info. Mm -hmm. Here, I think this is a situation where it's really important to to be taking gunfights. Like here, this like it's a two v three. You're you're most likely gonna need to make something happen, and your utility is not gonna, it's it's not gonna matter, right? You don't have any utility left. Even if you did, you have to get the kills. 
So this is kind of yeah. what I mean, where like your aim is really important. I'm not saying your aim's bad, but I think it's more about not being scared to take the fights here. So here we gotta, we just gotta run it down. Nice, that's beautiful. That was beautiful. So you got the two kills, and then of course your util is just free. That was really well played. We can go ahead and move forward. Right. Okay, so this sensor here is when I want to play on site, so I can just look out the window. The window, no, uh, I can look at this door here, and whoever swings on me, they swing up on the sensor. They have to be stepping on it. Okay, um, wow, that's crazy that the jet did that. Go back real quick. Okay, so right here, pause. Whenever you throw that grenade, okay, so if the jet didn't swing here, would you have just thrown the grenade and then not peeked? I was trying to get them stuck to for silver shock darts to hit them. Okay. okay. And he was trying to spam the wall also. Okay, okay, I think that's fine. I was thinking about Silva, not about me. Yeah. But since I heard that they were shooting at the wall and not taking it yet, I figured that I could still open. Okay, that's fine. Well played. I d yeah, just in general, like if you're if you're alone, would you have thrown that grenade? No. Okay. Because of the wall, my yeah. wall was not letting me peek right. Right. You like this spot here a lot. I would be cautious of this. As you start to get into higher ranks. Let's see if we do it again, actually. Yeah, as you start to get to higher ranks, like, you already killed someone in this spot. They're going to start clearing this much more. This spot, I love this spot. It'll work once, but after... That's why the second time I show the sensor for whoever tries to open on me here. Okay, so you're going to try to, like, distract him with it? Yeah. Um, I think and, this... and also, I just go there for the lineup. Yeah, okay. I throw it and I go away. I, okay. If I throw the wall, I have time to reposition. Yeah, yeah. I just wasn't sure if you're going to stay there or not. Okay, this is what I like. I like to see you... I like, I like this right here. This is really... This is really nice. We don't even have to hold this. You can just hide in wine. But I like that you're fighting it too. Last one's probably main. Maybe he rotated off. Okay, nice. <clears throat> yeah, I like that you're playing up like that. Is there a reason that you that you thought to do that this round? Because that's not you don't usually play like that from what we've seen. Now on defense, sometimes I just go for the crouch lineups and I try to get them after they try to break the wall. Yeah, I, I like that. I like they that empty play. their guns, they get crouched, they have to take it off, and if they don't, they still don't have any bullets in their guns. Yeah. Okay, this will be the last round, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay. We could get good at, like, jump peeking and jiggling, too. Main. Just for info. So I guess it's going toward A. Or a grenade. Jet has uh, a cala that no one was going cat. Okay, I hope that's true. And um, at this point, I was completely sure that after my wall was broken, they would already be on B main. Okay, you still have time. This is fine. That's why I'm not saying anything about you rotating because the wall was I up. I thought I had time. Yeah. Go back, go back. This is what I mean. Um, like, I think a little training before, I know you didn't warm up here. We peek kind of close to the wall, which, do you, are you aware of, like, peeking close to the wall is kind of bad? Yeah, aware. Yeah, that, and then... Um, I was walking, looking at the minimap to see, is my all broken? Is the alarm off? Yeah, so I think that's definitely something we can work on for you, is... Um, 
Oh, you guys, you guys pull it off. Um, last thing at the last round, this is a funny thing. I randomly threw my grenade mm -hmm. at the sky, and it landed on my team. It landed on. That's Owen. funny. Wow. It really did yeah, land on him. That's a nice throw, though. And the one v one, you have to earn this one. Nice. Okay. So um, okay. So pause. I'll give you like three big takeaways here. One, work on comms. It sounds like it's a bit of a challenge for you. Um, which is completely fine, right? It's a challenge for some some other people as well. But work on that. Try to just experiment with it. You can do it just before rounds. You don't have to necessarily do it um, during the middle of rounds to start. But I think that's a big area of growth for you. And then another one is going to be your mechanics, specifically like your aim and how you peek. And more specifically, not being afraid to like take fights or peek angles uh, on attack or if your duelists are not doing it. Like you can still you can still take fights and you can still farm people. Um, and then lastly, I would say try to work on try to work on kind of swapping things up a little bit. This is not super true for you, but I notice you you focus a lot on util, which is very good, obviously. But I think just trying to do things like whenever it's a close game like this, it's it's important to kind of catch your opponents off guard to get that one round that might make the difference. Um, yeah. Do you have any questions? I have one question. Yeah. Um, is it better sometimes when I'm too tired of hearing the allies screaming, just muting everyone? Um, it, it really depends. I would say yes in some situations. Because last time I was, last time I was playing that luck without recording, of course, I was mm. playing with a friend that's a streamer. He's a girl streamer and I was, I had everyone muted because they were screaming too much. I got on the same match two times with the same people. Mm -hmm. And at the second time, I, they were still muted. They recognized me because obviously it's that like nobody plays it and they see the same classic skin they know. They started mass reporting me for not having my mic on, mm -hmm. and not listening to them. So my friend told him like, oh, his autistic so sometimes he gets, sometimes he have trouble to be listening to all the sounds, the screaming, which mm -hmm. just mutes everyone. And they were laughing their ass off, laughing a lot. I yeah. felt pretty bad and they mass reported me and I got seven days banned. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened to you. It sounds like you're treated kind of unfairly. And it happens situation. a lot. A lot of the time they report me for not having my mic on. But that's because they're being toxic and I just want to avoid it. Because yeah. I know that I can still ping. I, I can still type. And I still know what they're looking, what they're hearing. Yeah, I would... I can pay attention. I think it's okay to mute people like that. And I think that it's completely not your fault that they reported you like that. And it's not obviously fair that they were laughing at you by any means. Um, but... I do think that, I do think, not because of them, but I do think that, like I said, it's uh, comms, regardless, are something that you could work on, not because they did that to you or whatever, but even just starting small, like a, a word or two. Um, I will be talking, but it will be on the freeze rounds. On the what? the barrier drops. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's that's fine. That's what I want for you to start. Um, and but... whenever somebody starts to come, you're going to mute it, only them. Yeah, that's fine. You could try to give them a chance, like, hey, could you, you know, I'm trying to win. Can we try to win together or something like that? And yeah, then if they one still... thing that worked was saying that, oh, to the team, uh, there are still four people trying to win. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to have to go. Um, if you have any other questions, you can message me and I'll get back to you. I'll probably edit this into a video tomorrow morning. Right. And, um... Yeah, you think was this helpful for you? That was helpful. Okay, great. I hope I hope you're you're able to uh, get a wake little... up call to get back to talking. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm not saying it's. And gonna that be was easy. my second account. That's ascendant tree. I have one immortal one, another ascendant tree. Nice.
yeah, you could you could definitely move up toward like uh, Mortal two and three if you make some changes here. I uh, I want to have a backup, you know. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Thank have a good you. day. Bye bye. Have a good day, too.